What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out some of the top add-ons in the Blender market and how they can help you in different ways in Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so as many of you know, the Blender market Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale has been going on this weekend. And this sale is gonna close later on today. So you can currently get a number of different add-ons for Blender on sale through 11.59 p.m. tonight. So I wanted to hit on some of the top add-ons available for Blender, just gonna talk about what you can do with them. But if you wanna check out the sale, you can do that at thecgessentials.com slash Black Friday. Note that some of these links are affiliate links, meaning I would receive a commission if you do purchase through those links. Um, I have also received some copies of some of these add-ons from the developers to try out. All right, and so there's obviously a ton of different add-ons available in the Blender market. I definitely can't cover 36,000 add-ons, but what I can do is talk about some of the highlights and some of the ones that I really like and that seem to be really good for a lot of different things. So first off is one I haven't really had a chance to talk about on this channel. Um, I need to do this a little bit more, um, but Auto Rig Pro is actually a tool for Blender designed to help you set up rigging for things like characters and animations. And so it has tools built in um, to do things like setting up your bones using kind of smart rigging functions. So it's got those built in. It actually has a free character example you can download and try out, but it's got a ton of features designed to help you set up things like limbs, or um, you can even use it to set up like uh, IK ropes and other things like that. So lots of tools built into this one. Um, it's been the most popular add-on in the Blender market for like ever. So definitely something that if you're into rigging, you should give a look. So next up, have to talk about this one, Hard Ops and Box Cutter. Specifically, I'm talking about the bundle in this case is a tool set for hard surface modeling. This has been around forever. It is a massive tool set for doing hard surface modeling. So you've got hard ops, which is basically a tool designed to help you uh, work with your hard surface geometry. Um, it's got a number of different tools for that kind of modeling. And so box cutter is specifically designed to help you make cuts to your object. So it's basically a, a Boolean workflow tool that's designed to help you create those different hard surface shapes. So if you're looking for a massive tool set for hard surface modeling, you can definitely check out Hard Ops and Box Cutter. There are also a ton of tutorials out there teaching you how to use these tools. All right, so next up we've got Botanic. And so what Botanic is, is it's basically a tree and grass library. And it does a really good job of that. What I like about Botanic is it's got a number of different things all contained inside of one add-on. They're consistently updating this. Like the last time that they updated it, they added a bunch of like desert style plants, but they've got a ton of different plants in here. So one of the cool things about the plants in here is some of them have the ability to do things like changing the season or the hues of the trees. Um, some of them also have animation. So if you want to create animated, animated trees, you've got the ability to do that. And you've got a scatter pack that lets you work with geo scatter in order to scatter the assets. So there are also tools in here that help you like populate scenes as well. So if you want to add randomization um, or you can use their pre-made particle systems um, in order to scatter on the surfaces, it's just got a little bit of everything um, in order to help you out with uh, kind of your landscape and tree needs. So you can kind of scroll down on this page and see what they have included in here. So they've got different shrubs, they've got succulents, they've got rocks, um, a bunch of miscellaneous stuff as well. So um, there's just a ton of things contained inside of Botanic. So if you are looking for something um, that's got kind of a general overall library of trees and grasses and other tools, you can definitely check this one out. All right, so next up is the tool that I use to set up my atmosphere, which is physical starlight and atmosphere. And I've talked about this in the past, but this is a really cool tool that basically um, automates the creation of atmospheres inside a blender. So what it does is instead of using like an HDRI file, it like procedurally adds um, all of this stuff in the background, meaning you can go through and you can adjust and change things like the clouds. You can use it to move where the sun is. You can move it up in the sky. And it's got a bunch of different 
presets for that as well. So not only does it have presets, but you can also make those live adjustments inside of your scene and your lighting is going to adjust with that. One of my favorite things about physical starlight and atmosphere is it not only works with cycles, it also works with EV. So being able to set it up quickly in EV and then jump back into cycles is definitely a huge benefit of this tool. So if you're looking for an atmospheric setup tool, this is the one that I really like. All right, so next up, we've talked about GeoScatter in the past. I've got a full playlist of tutorials for GeoScatter. This is one of the most feature packed add-ons that I've seen for Blender. It's almost like its own separate program working inside of Blender. There's so much stuff that goes on in GeoScatter, but basically this is a tool set designed to help you scatter objects in Blender. And it does this in a ton of different ways. So you've got like manual scattering tools if you just want to do that, but then it's also got the ability to do much more complex scattering as well. So you can use it to scatter not only plants and rocks and trees and vegetation, but you can also scatter things like buildings, really anything that you want. And again, there's just very complex, um, there, there's just a ton of tools in here to help you do whatever it is you want to do. So one of the cool things about this tool is it actually can also um, automate like camera culling meaning you can set it up to only display the things that are in your camera view, which can be a massive performance saver when you're working in Blender. So this has a huge tool set of scattering assets. The other cool thing about GeoScatter is it also has the ability to import scatter packs from other tools. So for example, the Bagapi assets from, um, from Bagapi can be imported using their scatter pack. Um, there's others as well. So like the tree vegetation add-on from Bee Production, um, Botanic, they all have these, uh, these scatter pack files that you can bring in and scatter their assets with GeoScatter. So um, I will link to the full playlist of tutorials that I've been creating on this one. So this one is so feature packed that I actually created a playlist of tutorials for GeoScatter. Um, and it, it's just one of the most feature packed add-ons that I've seen. Definitely the number of features you get for the cost, um, in my opinion, is a great value. All right, so next up, we've got a tool from Machine um, that allows you to use decals in order to add detail to your models without you actually having to go in there and make geometric adjustments. So Decal Machine is specifically a tool designed to let you add decals to your models, and those decals are going to use images to add detail. When you do things like rendering out though, because you're using image textures as well as things like parallax, um, which is basically simulating ins and outs on a surface, you're able to add a ton of detail to your models without actually having to add a bunch of geometric detail. So decal machine is an excellent implementation of a system designed to help you add not only like stickers and things like that, but also other decals that give you the ability to simulate things like holes in your models without you having to do a whole bunch of modeling. So definitely a great tool set for decals. All right, so human generator, we've talked about in the past. I will link to tutorials on this in the notes down below, but it's basically a tool designed for helping you create characters inside of Blender. And so it really has kind of like two functions, right? So the first is you can use it to generate variations of people, um, meaning you can generate different faces. You can use the sliders and the other tools to adjust the way that the face looks. So you can create your own characters and these can be pretty detailed. And so it's got different hairstyles and other things like that. So you can use this in order to generate those detailed characters. But the other thing it can do is it can also create those kind of like less detailed characters that sit in the background, but it can generate them really quickly. So if you need characters or 3D people in your scene, you might check out Human Generator. All right, so Simply Cloth Pro is a tool that just got updated to version three, and this is a tool set specifically designed for creating cloth in Blender. And so um, this is one that I need to get into a little bit more, but it's kind of like the cloth 
physics add-on for Blender that I'm aware of right now. It's just got a ton of different features for actually simulating cloth. You can use it to simulate different aspects of cloth. You can use it to create clothes. So one of the cool things about this one is you can actually use it to um, generate, you can actually use this to add flat um, surfaces like this, but then you can use the sewing feature in order to take that flat surface and actually kind of like bring it in and simulate a clothing piece using this tool. So um, this tool set is specifically designed with a bunch of features for creating clothing. They did just roll out a new version where you can actually paint on a character mesh and then it'll use that paint from the mesh and generate clothes from the mesh itself. So you can use this in order to generate clothes in a lot of different ways as well as other things inside of Blender. But if you're looking for a cloth tool, Simply Cloth is definitely worth checking out. All right, I talk about Sanctus Library a lot just because I am very impressed with uh, the number of materials that are in here. Sanctus Library is Sanctus's collection of procedural materials for Blender. Um, it's a pretty big library of materials that are actually adjustable, meaning you can use the different sliders and the different settings of the materials in order to simulate things like water on surfaces or damage on surfaces, um, as well as a number of other things as well. So he's got a ton of different procedural materials in here that you can adjust and change and use in your models. So you can kind of scroll through here and see what he has available. But then he's also got other tools in here as well. So the ability to quickly generate things like decals, it's not nearly as detailed as like decal machine is. So if you're looking for something like super in depth, I would recommend decal machine. But this does have decal functions built in, as well as a bunch of other things like generators and other geometry nodes assets. So he is constantly updating this. So you can see all of the different releases that he's had where he's just continuing to add different things over and over and over again. Um, I've got nothing but good things to say about this. Um, the only thing I would say is because these materials are procedural, um, they can get a little bit heavy. So that's not really his fault. That's just something that's going on in the background. So just be aware of that. But overall, this library, even if you just want to download the free version and try it out, you can do that through here and you can kind of let his work speak for itself. On the other hand, if you are looking for more of a library of kind of like regular materials, not necessarily procedural as much as just materials that you can just add to your model that are going to be a little more lightweight that follow that traditional PBR workflow. Um, I do like Materialic from the Polygonic guys for that. So they've updated it with Asset Browser integration, meaning you can use the Asset Browser in Blender in order to add these different materials. But it's got a number of tools built in for doing things. Um, anything from doing some kind of randomization of your different values to adjusting the values of your materials using sliders. So you don't need to jump over into the shader editor to make those changes using the materialic materials. So you can make changes to things like the strength, the displacement. Um, you can add texture bombing so you don't get that like seamed look of your materials. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff built into this one if you're looking more of a standard PBR material workflow. So um, Sanctus Library has that great procedural library, but if you are looking for something a little more standard and not necessarily quite so procedural, maybe a little more lightweight, you can definitely check out Materialic. All right, so Fluent Materializer is a tool that I've talked about in the past. Um, it's a tool that's basically designed to help you mix materials together. So what it does is it allows you to kind of like stack the nodes together in order to add details like these water droplets on this object, or if you want to add damage, so things like rust or um, edge wear, other things like that. This has a tool set for generating those things procedurally on your materials. So um, if you're looking for something that'll make your materials look a little bit more interesting, which can definitely add um, realism to your object. So if you do a ton of like hard surface modeling or anything like that, this is definitely a tool that can allow you to do a lot of those different things. So it's also got the ability to um, use kind of a painted mask in order to add damage to surfaces as well. So if you do wanna come in here and be a little more precise 
this does definitely have a tool set in there for doing that as well. I believe they came, they just came out with a new version too, which is something I need to cover a little bit more on the channel. But if you are looking for something to kind of add that edge wear and damage, um, you can check out Fluent Materializer. And then last but not least, I do have to talk a little bit about Bagapai. So Bagapai is an architectural modeling tool set. If you want the base Bagapai modifier, it's available for free. And it's got a ton of tools built in that allows you to do things like architectural modeling. So you can drop things in like different stairs, you can use it to create rails, you can use it to create windows. There's a bunch of architectural stuff built into the base version of Bagapai that you can use for free. Um, and then if you want to, he also makes available different assets. So he's got flowers, he's got rocks, he's got bushes and uh, furniture items. So there's a ton of stuff in his asset library um, as well. You can get his full Bag of Pie assets or the light version um, if you are looking for some great assets. Um, the other cool thing about this is Bag of Pie, he's built the ability now for him to add additional things in here using geopacks. A geopack is a tool that you can use to import things to Bagapai. And one of the things he just released is Baga Street, which is a collection of assets specifically designed for like streets and roads and uh, kind of like city streetscapes in Blender. So you can download this. So you can basically buy this as a pack and you can install it into Blender and allow you to add things like uh, your highway dividers or different city benches or bollards. So this is kind of a streetscape pack that plugs in to Bagapai. So Bagapai itself, everyone should have Bagapai, at least the free version, because it's free. So why wouldn't you? Um, but then he's got other things that plug into this that make this an even better tool. So that's some of my favorite add-ons available for Blender right now. Remember those are on sale as a part of that Blender Market Black Friday through end of day today. I will link to that on this page. But let me know if I forgot anything or left anything off this list. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.